Number 63. What is the molarity of a diluted solution when each of the following solutions is diluted to the given final volume? And then we have letter D out of the bunch of questions. So in this case, they gave us 22.50 mils of a 0.025 molar solution of C12H22O11, and that's all diluted to 100 mils or milliliters. Now, we're clearly diluting, right? We're clearly diluting solutions. We have solutions here, and a solution is just a molar volume, right? A, a molar amount, molarity, and X amount of uh, liquid in them, right? And when you dilute, you're always just adding water. That's how you change your molarity values. When you dilute something, the molarity is going to drop. Higher molarity concentrations means you have more moles of your solute. But if you keep adding water, the molarity value is going to drop, mainly because you added more liquid to your solution. Now let's see. What is the dilution formula? Well, it's this guy, right? We've seen this. M1V1 equals M2V2. We just need to find out what the pairs are, right? We have one paired molarity and volume, and that equals molarity and its corresponding volume after the dilution. And just know that the only thing that's actually equal is the number of moles. When you dilute something, the moles do not change, right? Molarity times volume is moles. So that's really what's the same here, the mole amount never changes when you add water or when you dilute something. Now let's find out what the pairs are. Let's look at these guys, right? They told us that we had a given volume, 22.5 milliliters of a 0.025 molar solution. You have this of this. They go together. If you see of a with the volume and a, and a molarity, that means that that's a pair. So these guys go together. Now, it really doesn't matter if you put it on the left or the right side. I'm just going to put it on the, the left side. I like to work from left to right. So the molarity would be 0.025, and the volume is 22.50, and now that's in mils. Okay, now let's just find out the right side. I need a molarity, and I need a volume. Well, it's diluted to 100 milliliters, so this volume is 100 mils. And now what's the molarity? Well, yeah, that was the question, right? What is the molarity? So I'm solving for this. I don't know what that is. Now, the good thing with the dilution formula is that it doesn't matter what unit you have for your volumes. They just have to match. So you could have had liter and liter. That's fine. You could have milliliter with milliliter. You know, and any other types of, you know, prefix with the liter, right? So centiliter and centiliter if they really wanted to give you that. But just know that you don't have to have it in, in liters. But remember, the other formula that we were working with, right, was molarity equals moles over liter. This has to be in liters. You can't put mils in there. So just, just make that a point, guys, okay? Now let's just solve. I have all my numbers and I have my variable. So let's solve for x. 0 0.025 times, right, m1, v1, they're being multiplied by each other. So 22.50 equals x times 100. We want to solve for x. So we divide by 100.0 on both sides. And then we just do the math. This cancels out. X equals, let's see, 0 0.025 times 22.50. Then take that and divide that by 100. Whoa, a small molarity, but that's okay. Looks like the lowest number of sig figs is two sig figs. So my answer can only have two sig figs. So 0 0.0056. And then what's the unit for molarity? Well, just look back and see what the unit of molarity for the other one that they gave us. Just copy that. That's a molarity, capital M. And that's your answer. 
your new molarity would be 0 0.0056. And it makes sense. Remember, when you're diluting, you go from a higher molarity to a lower molarity. Okay, guys, what do you think? Hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you like. That would be awesome. That would help get the word out there that this service exists. And I thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers and it's absolutely nuts. You guys have been so kind and, you know, we, we're talking on the comments or whatever it's called in the, the comment section. You guys are rocking, all right? So keep studying hard and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.